My name is Anjan Venkatramani. I had product management for QFabric in the data center business unit at Juniper, and this is my five and five. The way I like to think about this is QFabric presents the properties of a single switch, but has underneath the covers the implementation of a network. So what do I mean by the properties of a single switch? When you take a look at a chassis, a single switch, uh, whether it's a pizza box or a chassis, it presents uh, pretty valuable properties to the customer. Uh, it's got line rate bandwidth between any ports. It's got very low latency. Uh, it's managed as a single device. It's, uh, it, you, you don't have any restrictions on whether you use layer two or layer three or the integration between layer two and layer three is seamless. So uh, QFabric also presents all those properties to the data center operator and to the customer. Uh, it's got all those properties of a single switch. But underneath it, it's got the implementations of a network. Uh, it scales out like a data center network. It's got the robustness uh, and protocols of, uh, that, uh, that are used and extended in data center networks. Uh, it also makes the, the, uh, this entire design operational. QFabric has three main components, the director, the interconnects, and the nodes. We also have the control plane Ethernet uh, switches uh, that the nodes, interconnects, and the directors connect to. Each of the directors is two RU. The interconnects are 21 RU each, and the control plane components are four RU each. So in a minimum system, there's 54 rack units, and then uh, each, of the, uh, each of the QF nodes, the QFabric nodes, are one RU each, and you would scale them as you add, uh, number of, as you add racks. In the future, we are also expected to have smaller QFabric systems where the number of rack units will be significantly lower. QFabric has been architected from the ground up so that there's no single point of failure in the management plane, the control plane, or the data plane. Uh, specifically, when you talk about the control plane, uh, the con there's two, uh, two main parts. There's the directors and uh, the control plane network. From a physical standpoint, uh, you'd have multiple control plane networks, you'd have multiple directors uh, that form the compute cluster. Uh, also, the control plane is completely distributed and federated. Uh, there's an instance of the control plane, uh, there's a small instance of the control plane that runs directly on the QFabric node. Uh, servers would be dual home to multiple QFabric nodes. If the component of the control plane in the QFabric node fails, uh, there's, uh, first of all, there's a backup QFabric node, uh, but uh, even even if both the QFabric nodes fail, it takes down just a small, uh, it just takes down probably a single rack inside the data center. If you look at all the new cloud data centers that are being built, they're all being built with scalable, robust layer three designs. Now, there are certain, uh, certain applications and certain uh, requirements in the data center for extending layer two. QFabric is both a layer two and a layer three technology seamlessly integrated. Layer three processing has been distributed to every QFabric node. Uh, so, we, we, so we have used, in, while we, what we have done in QFabric is present, uh, even for layer two, present the properties of layer two outside, but implement it inside internally using robust, scalable, layer three-like uh, protocols and technologies. So I think we have the best of both worlds. Uh, unlike other vendors, uh, uh, Juniper believes that very large, flat layer two designs are inherently uh, limited in scaling, robustness, and availability. At a high level, the goals of both virtual chassis and QFabric are uh, pretty similar. Uh, we want to eliminate spanning tree in data center networks. We want to take advantage of all the bisection bandwidth that has been plumbed inside the data center network, uh, take advantage of all the links, manage multiple devices, and present the abstraction of a single switch. So in, in, in some sense, the goals of both these technologies are the same. Uh, QFabric has taken, has taken some elements of virtual chassis technology. We have incorporated new elements and scaled it out for very large data center networks and data center designs. Uh, so uh, we are using some virtual chassis technology internally. We are extending it and scaling it out for very large data center networks. Yeah.